In this video, I will talk about Pythagorean theorem. This theorem states that in any right triangle, the sum of the squares of the legs is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. We have the first term legs, the two shorter sides of a right angle triangle, which is A and B over here in the red triangle. Hypotenuse is the longest side of a right angle triangle. It is opposite of the right angle. As you can see, this little square is right angle which is equal to 90 degrees and the slant height which is C is opposite of it. Therefore, we have A squared plus B squared equals to C squared. So this is what this theorem states. The sum of the squares of the legs, so we are squaring the legs and it's equal to the square of the hypotenuse. Let's just look at one example. The example is, we have two side lengths which are given. So let's say A equals to six centimeters and B equals to eight centimeters. We need to find out the slant height. By using Pythagorean theorem, we know that it's right angle triangle. We will solve for the missing side length. I will write the theorem first. Then I will substitute the numbers. So A is 6. I will write that down. B is 8. 6 squared means 6 times 6. 8 squared means 8 times 8 is equal to C squared. 6 times 6 is 36. 8 times 8 is 64 is equal to c squared. When I add 36 and 64, I get 100. And we need to solve for c, but we have squared on top. When we remove square and take it to the other side, it becomes square root. So 100 is 10. So I will write here 10 centimeters. That's how we can solve for the missing side length which is C in this case. Now I will be showing you one sample question of MPT. The question says a rectangular window measures 4 meter wide and 3 meter high. What is the length of the window's diagonal? So first thing is we will draw a rectangle and then we're going to label it. So wide is 4 meters. So I will write here 4 meters and high is 3 meters. What is the length of the window's diagonal? So we're going to draw the diagonal here. And we know that all the angles in a rectangle is equal to 90 degrees. So all of them are 90 degrees. Now we are solving for the diagonal which is technically C. So I will take that triangle out of the rectangle and then we're going to solve. So I have this. This is 90 degrees. That's why the opposite is C, which we are solving for. It's 4 meters, 3 meters. Now first thing is I will write the Pythagorean theorem first, which is A squared plus b squared equals to c squared and we can label it a is 3 and b is equal to 4 you can always interchange you can write b equals to 3 and a equals to 4 a is 3 so i will say 3 squared b is 4 4 squared equals to c squared so 3 squared is 3 times 3 plus 4 squared is 4 times 4 equals to c squared. So it's 9 plus 16 equals to c squared. When we add 9 and 16, it will give me 25. And we are solving for the missing side length, which is c. And I have to take square to the other side and it becomes square root. So c is equal to 5 meters because the units are given in meters. And we're going to check the options. So we have A equals to 25 meters, 
B equals to 12 meters and option C is equal to 7 meters and D is 5 meters.